I'm Francine Coiteau. I'm one of the co-founders of, of PlanC.org. I'm, I'm a pretty pragmatic person, and um, I got really interested in the, the fact that we, we needed more options, more contraceptive development, uh, more opportunities to use technology to improve the lives of, of families and in particular women and ability to control their fertility. And um, I started um, noticing that the technology was actually way ahead of our ability and our public will to use it and to make it available to everyone. And so the issue of equity and the issue of justice and having access to these new technologies and that the people who most needed them didn't have access is what really has been my passion was to try to um, reduce that gap between um, what is possible, back to the pragmatism, pa possible thanks to the technology, but very, very difficult because of our political and uh, cultural issues around abortion. I'm proudest now uh, with Plan C about really having started a movement, a movement that's really been uh, generated by young, young people who, who, when they hear about the fact that these pills exist and didn't, they didn't know they did, and they're like, what? How come I don't know about this? And then you tell them the story, and they're like, whoa, that's wrong. What can I do to help? And the answer is spread the word. It's that simple, spread the word, so that whoever needs it is going to you know, know when they need it, what to do. So I'm very proud of the, the sort of movement building of that part of our work. I think the biggest barrier is, is, is a, an underlying fear of, of, of going against the administration, the laws, the regulation. I think we pro-choice people have been on the run in the defensive mode for so long that we have failed to recognize that there are many times where we're, we're, we're self-censoring ourselves. And this whole bit about uh, abortion pills is one example. There's no reason that we couldn't have be in a place, even with the restrictions that the FDA have put in place, there's no reason that these couldn't be just in our medicine cabinets by doctors just telling you um, if you come to Planned Parenthood and you, you've needed anything, by the way, take these home, put them in your medicine cabinet, and if you ever uh, find that you're late in a, preg in a period and you don't want to be pregnant, take them. We could have done that, um, but that's a matter of, of will, and the biggest barrier is our fears that haven't even allowed us to imagine that or much less uh, act on pushing against these regulations. Because after all, regulations are just regulations. They need to be interpreted. And we have been all too willing to have a very conservative interpretation uh, for too long. I hope they be, feel like they want to become a part of it. I really, really, I really, what I most appreciated about this audience today is I think these are the people who are most uh, likely to possibly know someone or themselves need um, access to an early abortion. And if they know about this opportunity and know where to get information, they can make decisions on their own and share that information. That's unstoppable. I don't care how many judges they change or put or you know what they do with the laws, it's going to be unstoppable if uh, people know and people have access. Um, because this ab absolutely is about power, not about health. <laughs>